crisis. We're going to have, what, like 8 million people after three years, illegal immigrants. Anyway, some communities are now breaking, and that includes New York City. That's right, the beautiful sanctuary state of New York, sanctuary city of New York City, is now seeing 100,000 illegal immigrants come to town in a year and a half. The city's latest bright idea for dealing with the influx was to build a tent city in Queens, New York, to house 1,000 single male illegal immigrants. Obviously, local families, they're not too thrilled, and they staged multiple protests. And during one of them last night, our friend, well, Curtis Sliwa, uh, former Republican mayoral candidate, this wouldn't be happening if he was mayor, was arrested last night. A great example of misplaced priorities uh, of New York City. Now, he has since been released from prison and police custody, thanks to New York City's no bail laws, which <laughs> for once actually worked very well. Let's give a warm welcome, Curtis Lewa. <laughs> nice throw. Right. What's up? Right. Grab a seat. First of all, how many times have you been arrested in your life? 78. <laughs> and this was the absolute best. I'm going to do it again and again and again because Americans before illegals, we're going to take care of our own. All right. And uh, it's an absolute Adam Schiff show uh, when it comes to what's going on in New York. Now, we have veterans that are homeless in this country, and they never were given... $350 a night hotel rooms, four-star hotels at the mayor. Now the mayor's saying it's going to be $12 billion for the city. It wouldn't have happened if you were elected. No. no. I mean, this is... They, this, he said he wanted a sanctuary city. This is what they got. Now what's going to happen to the schools in the fall? They're going to be jam-packed with kids who can't even speak English. The public schools are bad enough to begin with. It's going to make it that much worse. And you know who's going to have to pay for all of this, Sean? We, the sucker taxpayers, while the politicians play Santa Claus with our money. Hey, I'm your Papa Chulo. Come to New York City, right? It's like, wait a second. Where are you going to get the money? And by the way, his hero is Joe Biden, but he won't name and shame Joe Biden. And Joe Biden started all of this. You remember he said, who's your daddy? Come to America. And boy, they haven't stopped since. Millions and millions. And, uh, and it's getting worse. And I will tell you, it, it, we're at a breaking point, literally, in New York. Okay, I have to ask this question. So, yeah. so you get handcuffed. Yeah. You take a mugshot. No mugshot. They have enough. Seventy no, no, exactly. previous mugshots. That's That's right. I'm, get, I'm getting kind of gray in the teeth here okay. now. So you get handcuffed. Handcuffed. Okay, so they bring you down to the precinct. Walk me through what life is like for Curtis Sliwa when you walk into prison. All I right. Now, 44 years ago when I started the Guardian Angels and the cops thought that we were the Hells Angels, not the Guardian Angels, I'd get a wooden shampoo and a concrete facial. Wow. Now I'm walking into the 105th precinct. High five, high five. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, can I take a selfie? Wow. And how, now, what are the other prisoners? How do they treat you? Uh, the other prisoners were looking at me like, what's up? You're supposed to be the mayor. What the hell are you doing in jail here for? <laughs> and you explain it. Now, why is it important that you decided to handcuff yourself to this facility? So important because these politicians, they're used to demonstrations. And they figure, okay, you give a speech, you go away. No, no, no. We're going to become these politicians' worst nightmare. They're going to have to find preparation H to rub all over me and hope that I dry up and blow away. Because we are leading an army of Americans, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. We're coming all together. We're not asking you, are you Republican or Democrat? We're asking you, are an American first? Stand up for America. Migrants, get to the back of the line and go back to where you came from. You don't belong here. Well said. Last word. I will say this. If they ever rescind no bail laws, give me a call. I'll put up the bail bond, all right? You're all set. <laughs> all right, Curtis Lewa. Coming up, we got the best Biden blunders of the week for you, and the president actually 